about Amazon right now. Forget your site. Think about Amazon. Everything on Amazon starts with a search. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Search. This week, we will talk about faceted search and advanced search and filter using the Algolia framework and infrastructure. So, Joe, we've probably worked on over a thousand projects such as this one some small, some medium size, and some really large projects with millions and millions of products. Talk to us about the faceted search and advanced filter. Why is this a very important functionality for e-commerce, especially right now? Yeah, so we're always talking about conversion optimization and how you can get more e-commerce sales. This is just another aspect of it and a very important one. Essentially what faceted search or advanced search is, is it gives your users the ability to find what they're looking for very quickly, right? So you have a search bar at the top, an individual will go to your site. Let's say they're looking for rubber gloves. They're gonna go and type in rubber gloves. However, if the search results that they get or the dropdown that they see are not really related to the type of rubber gloves or the rubber gloves that they're looking for, they're not gonna buy from you. So what this database allows you to do is it allows you to create synonyms it allows you to create rules and that you can then essentially tag these individual products so that when somebody searches for rubber gloves you also start to display whether it be vinyl gloves disposable gloves so it just gives them a lot more relevancy within their search parameters got it so the most basic concept here is this uh the average attention span of a user is decreasing uh, and, and we are not patient at all. As internet users, anywhere around the world, we're not patient. So when we go to an e-commerce site, first of all, we have thousands of e-commerce sites to choose from and thousands of search results from Google search results to choose from. We, as the consumer, as the internet users, we have a lot of options, right? That's why we're spoiled. And there are a couple of large companies, large e-commerce companies that spoiled us. One of them is Amazon. Probably, if you're listening to this, there's a 99% chance that you're shopping on Amazon. And one of the functionalities that you love on Amazon is when you go to Amazon, one of the first things that you do if you're a Prime customer is you press Prime. That's an advanced filter. When you click the Prime button, only the search results that are Prime by Amazon are available for you to see. Okay? Why do you do that? Because you get that uh, within 48 hours and you don't have to pay for shipping. Why do you do that? Because you trust Amazon more, right? So when it comes to advanced search and filter, it sounds like a very, very basic functionality. Hey, advanced search and filter, I might not really need that. But you need it as an e-commerce business, you need it. And the reason that you need it is you're competing with Amazon and you're competing with the average attention span of a user. So if you do not have, and if you have over a hundred products, you are definitely losing, and I'll say this very aggressively, over 10, 15% in conversions if you don't have advanced search and filters. Because no matter how cool or how great you think your e-commerce site is, if you don't have advanced search and filters, you're losing sales. Now, let's talk more about the technical side of this. So obviously I go to a site and I'm looking for, for example, I'm, you know, I love guitars and I probably own nine guitars, right? If, I'm, if I go to Samash, right, or guitarcenter.com, and I look for guitars, the first thing I'm going to type, I play flamenco. So I'm going to type flamenco guitars. When I look for flamenco guitars, there are many different types of flamenco guitars from different manufacturers. So I might filter by brand. Maybe I'm looking to spend $5,000. Maybe I'm looking to spend $500. So I need to see that price filter. And this is just for guitars, right? If you are a B2B business, which is really hot right now during these difficult times, and if you are selling bolts and screws, or if you're saying selling some kind of machinery part, you're going to have tons and tons of filters. So talk to us about why Algolia is important. Like I could create these filters and put it on my big commerce database. I could use custom fields of big commerce, custom fields of Shopify, Volusion, 3D card, Sitecore, right? That's one option. The second option is I could use a, an outside database that I host on my Amazon servers or my DigitalOcean servers. The third option is I could use something like an Algolia uh, infrastructure to actually store and serve that information when somebody tests it. 
Why is the Algolia infrastructure important? Well, I would say first and foremost is you need clean data. All of those different search elements that you just mentioned right now, the you know brand, pricing, um, the more specific you want your search to be, the only way that that's going to happen in the first place is if you have that data in the back end. Um, this is where we see a lot of companies, they kind of come to us and they want this advanced search and filter. However, they don't have this data attached to each and every one of their products, therefore making it very, very difficult. What Algolia allows you to do is it allows you to essentially easily create all of that data and store all of that data. And then you can start tagging and making your own rules based on those specific products that you have and the search terms that you see pe individuals are searching for on your site. So this is something that these uh, you know, e-commerce platforms don't necessarily provide right out of the box. They, their search platform, their search tool just isn't that powerful. In that case, if you want something really specific and really advanced, you're gonna need to use a database like Algolia. Going back to what I said in the beginning, creating synonyms or negative keywords, Right. So if you know that there are similar products or similar uh, or two different products with similar names and styles, but you know that a specific search term, this is what they're looking for. You can neglect to show those other products that might come up because it has the same word within the product name, which is how these e-commerce platforms are doing their basic search uh, feature. Got it. So let's recap it. Number one, the Algolia database allows you to define your filters and define those parameters a lot uh, more efficiently. Uh, number two, you are able to create unlimited custom rules with the, with the Algolia database, uh, where you can basically have similar products, have synonyms, have misspellings, uh, send misspellings to different landing pages. You can get as detailed as having search intent, right? And another thing that Algolia does is it tracks all the searches and all of this information. So you can actually get a report from Algolia that shows you what people are searching for, how many results they've had. And if you want to accept, if you want to get an exception like, uh, okay, well, 2000 people in the past 60 days searched for this keyword, which is let's say ABC, but on average, you only have three results for this while you have 20 results for all these other keywords, right? So you know that people are looking for ABC and you don't have enough search results. This could be because of your rules. This could be because you don't have enough products. So everything, when you go to a site, think about Amazon right now, forget your site, think about Amazon. Everything on Amazon starts with a search. So I'll even make the assumption that if somebody goes to Amazon, only 5% of people will go to a category page. 95% of people will actually go to search and search for something. And after that, the first, the second thing that they're going to do after they search is they're going to filter, right? They're going to either filter for prime or they're going to filter for price. And your site needs it, whether you like it or not, your site needs it. And we did a search session before I gave this as an example. This is like, you know, anybody that worked as a bartender knows what I'm talking about. When somebody sits at your bar, your goal is to get them that first drink as fast as possible have them drink as fast as possible. And whenever they're done with that drink, get them that second drink as fast as possible. Because the faster you are in terms of how you offer them that drink, or if they ask a question, what's good here? You better know what's good there because the more time you take, taking that order means that the less they're going to order during the time that they're there and 15% of their check total is your tip. So your goal as a bartender is to sell them as fast as possible and also serve them as many drinks as fast as possible. This is the same concept with the search and filter functionality. If they are taking 10 minutes to find what they're looking for, you are a lot more likely to lose them as a customer. They go somewhere else where they can get it faster. And your average order volume is a lot more likely to decrease because they're going to order less stuff. So this is why advanced search and filters is important. And with faceted search, this is why the Algolia database is essential. And Joe, there are some advanced stuff that we can do with the Algolia database as well. What we can do is we can create custom. Let's talk about some of those custom rules. What are those custom rules? Number one, we can tie any keyword to a landing page or any search term to a landing page, correct? Yep. Two, we have related terms that we can do. The other thing that we can do is 
a lot of these search terms are actually upsell opportunities, right? If you can build a logic relationship with your previous orders, and we've done this for maybe 10, 15 uh, clients so far, is we'll show search results based on which products were bundled together. So based on the history of your entire business. So we'll crawl all your orders and we'll crawl what products were packaged together and in search and filter, we'll create like a bundled together section if we believe that they are very likely to buy those two or three or four items together. Amazon has this, they say add all to cart below. Like if you're buying a camera, they're gonna try to sell you a camera case and a lens and a, and a tripod, you know? So you're able to build all this custom rules on Algolia. And the last thing that's very important about Algolia is how fast it works. It works incredibly fast because their technology is really good. Their API is really good. And the page does not reload. So a lot of these apps that you use on Shopify, BigCommerce, right? 3D Cart, Magento plugins, WooCommerce plugins. When you click that filter, let's say you're looking for products between $100 and $300, you're going to see the page reload. With the Algolia database, it doesn't reload. It shows it to you right away. As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it works on a couple of different sites through a screencast and you'll be able to see this. Is there anything we missed, Joe? Um, no, I think you pretty much covered it. Uh, I think that, you know, the semantic search is huge, you know, especially when it comes to stock quantity, right? And you may be out of stock. Let's say I'm going to a site and I type in Yeti Tumblr, right? But I'm all out of Yeti, but I have Arctic. So I want to make sure that I'm displaying products because the consumer may say, oh, you know what? I'll just go ahead and get the Arctic. But if you just display none because you're out of stock, there you go. You just lost that sale. So the semantic search is huge. And like you said, being able to load those search results on the same URL without having to reload the page is a game changer. So just to recap, you are able to increase your conversion rates. You are able to have upsell opportunity. You're able to have your customers find what they're looking for a lot faster. So from a usability or customer satisfaction standpoint, you're going to get less requests. Uh, it helps with your phone calls and your support because you won't have people asking you if you have this or that in stock. They'll be able to find it right away. And maybe 10 other custom rules you can create that actually increase your conversion rate, average order volume, lifetime value. And another aspect of this is it can be set up in a way where you can actually have these search results indexed on Google. So you could actually have very, very nice landing pages for Facebook AdWords, et cetera, et cetera. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions about Algolia, please reach out to us. We'll talk to you guys next week. Yeah.